What's up guys, it's Bradley Overrated coming at you with another review and today I am reviewing a game that I have previously reviewed as the Cactuar Gamer and a game that I played over a year ago, it's What Remains of Edith Finch. Now why am I doing this now? Because I can and I don't have a lot of time so let's just jump into it. It's good to jump back into some things, okay? Okay. And the story of what remains of Edith Finch is as follows. You play as, surprise, surprise, Edith Finch, who goes back to her old home to tell a story about her family history. And her family history is quite the history, as it's basically just a history of death and demise and mysterious disappearances, even. That's right. As you play this game, you unlock a storybook. A storybook, essentially, that has a bunch of artwork that shows a really cool-looking family tree. And it basically tells you how each one of these people comes to an end. This is not a spoiler. This is something you will find out immediately when you start playing this game. But there's so much more to it. And when I say more to it, I mean I'm not spoiling it for you. If you want to find out, you should go play this game. And speaking of which, I recommend you do play this game as I found it to be very, very enjoyable. So, What Remains of Edith Finch is classified as a walking simulator, which is a terrible, terrible way to classify this game. I hate anything that classifies a game as a walking simulator. And yes, there is a lot of walking to be done in the game, and exploring to be done, and it does focus heavily on narrative, which is what walking simulators are typically stereotyped as. But this game takes it so much further than that because as you explore this area and the house, which by the way, the house is just awesome in design and concept and I love that to pieces, you'll eventually get to learn how each one of the you know previous family members of Edith Finch's family tree dies. And that is really cool because you get to play vicariously as those characters. And when you play as these characters, you'll be doing different tasks, one of which is taking pictures, another which is being a monster, so to speak. And it makes you wonder, it makes you question whether or not these things are true because you get to play them through the eyes of that person. So as you play, you start to wonder, did this person actually die this way? What actually happened to them? How did they disappear? And the story itself becomes a lot more involving than a typical, stereotypical rather, walking simulator. And that's why I hate this game being classified as that, because it does more than just allow you to walk around. It allows you to experience each and every single one of these person's lives. And that is something remarkable. And if there's a negative I can give to you, it's that some of the, because you play, like I said, at, through the eyes of a lot of these family members, and some of the stories are just not that exciting. They're just kind of there, and they're not that interesting. But, you know, it's part of how this works in the concept. Like I said, there's a lot of great stories here, and there's a lot of things to capture your interest. But just there's a few of them that are just kind of okay yeah yeah let's go hurry up you know what i'm saying so for the most part though it's really solid and i don't really have anything else to complain about this game the soundtrack is great the art style is great the game runs really well and i'm just really impressed that an indie title made this beautiful looking of a game well done guys so let's go ahead and give this game a letter grade now i give letter grades because i can and that's how i roll a being the best f being the worst and what remains of Edith Finch? Oh my gosh, this game was just wonderful. I could go back and play, and I think that's the big thing about this game. Even though I know exactly how it's going to end up each time I play it, I still want to go back to it time and time again, which is why I give What Remains of Edith Finch an A-. And I give it the A- because it's just an incredible story with incredible characters. Honestly, the character development is really well done. And this game's gorgeous. For an indie title, I was quite pleased. It is easily worth 20 bucks. And if you haven't had a chance to play this game yet, please go and do so. I think it's actually free on the Epic Game Store if you're interested in that. So there's no excuse not to play it. Not at all. Alright guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I am Bradley Overrated, and if you want to see more awesome casual reviews like this, be sure to click on that subscribe button. I am out like a trout, and I'm going to leave you guys with a creepy moment from this game. You're welcome.